continuing with the icons over here on the right side, um, we're going to talk about the second one. But before we do, I'm going to take the selection tool and I'm going to draw a crazy shape right here. And remember, if I took the paintbrush and I'm going to use a wash brush and I paint it across, let's make that even bigger, then only the area that is inside the shape I drew is going to be painted in. Well, sometimes that takes a little time and you get a double stroke. So a better way to do that um, is to go to the selection tool, go ahead and draw your shape. And this time, instead of choosing a paintbrush, we're going to put our brush on the palette. We're going to take that oops, until it follows us down I'm going to drop it and I now have an even wash throughout that entire shape. So that's kind of fun to do and I needed to have that to show you the smudge tool. I'm going to take selection off and I'm going to choose, oh let's try a round brush and I'm going to come in here and I want you to watch as, and those of you that are watercolor painters are going to love the ability to come in here and soften edges um, a lot or a little or as much as you choose. And that's really um, a fun, fun area of Procreate that I use a lot and I really like to work with. Um, the next icon, that was the smudge icon. This one is the eraser icon. And I'm going to put the opacity all the way up to 100 so that I erase, and let's make that brush a little bigger. I erase, I can actually erase all the way to white. If I reduce this to about halfway, it's going to lighten rather than erase the whole thing. So um, sometimes it's really fun when you're working to just lift a little bit A little bit, let's go a little bit more. There we go here. Just lighten an area a little bit. Sometimes I even like to lighten an edge a little bit, um, but that is the eraser tool. And to use the eraser tool um, completely, you always wanna remember to put the opacity up so that you can erase all the way back to the original white paper.